come inside to talk to. So Kenji, what would you like to talk about? Where'd you go last night after triad? I came back here. You walked me home after all. So you're saying that you weren't anywhere near the weekend too? No, silly boy. What give you that idea? Cut the fourth plate, Felicia. I broke into a tomb last night. You what? Yeah, and look what I found. Oh crap, I thought I lost this for good. Someone that the fight outside the tried. Yeah, I think it was you who went into the tomb. Kenji, I can't believe you broke into the tomb. Do you know how dangerous that could be? You could get yourself a heap of trouble. What are you hiding? Kenji, don't talk to me like that. Please back off the investigation a little. It's, it's getting too risky. I don't think I can do that to you. Kenji, I'll still pay you. If you pry any deeper, it could get dangerous. You could get hurt or worse. Man, I'll just take that risk. Her lies were exposed like a peeled banana, or like a Playboy bunny going skinny dipping in a pool in the middle of Times Square on New Year's Eve. She had lied from the start. There was one truth in this molasses of deception. Things were going to start to sizzle like your brain on drugs. I remembered then that all living things die. So, any news? No. Have you tried going into the tomb again? I'm laying low for now. Every time I leave my room, I feel like I'm being watched. Well, is there anything I can do to help? Well, I got Jason tracking down Vincent and Jade, so I'll confront them later. Well, you really should be confronting that Felicia again. I can have Lita try asking Eddie about it. Look, I'll admit that she's suspicious, but I tried calling, she never picks up. So track her down. Now, look, I don't want to scare her, all right? I'll just wait until she calls me back. Are you serious? That's never going to happen, Kenji. She's hiding something big. Just find her and force her to tell you. You're an angel, Tits. A sweet, hairbrained little angel. You're impossible! There is fiction in the space between lines on your page of memories. I hadn't seen Serena in days. Something urgent called in my gut with each coffee house and CCL cubicle that was barren. Barren of Serena. The past is like a puzzle, like a broken mirror reflecting your life. When you piece it together, the image keeps shifting and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. There is fiction in the space between Something cold, something deadly descended on the city too early, as if icy white pitchforks were warning New Haven, something wicked this way comes. Even if you have a sixth sense about the ending of a movie, seeing it can still rip your heart out. And boy, her surprise twist chilled me to the bone. I wasn't shocked. Not really. You think, maybe if you call again, you'll get lucky. Maybe you can hear her warm voice on the other side. I wanted to tell Serena she was right, right all the time. Like some infinite mockery, I had to answer the echo of my own ring. The blank snow seemed fateful after all. It was obvious what happened. My mistake pushed away the good in my life, fed to the evil like babies to Cerberus. Serena must have spied on the tomb. They must have caught her. The master lock might as well have been the gates of hell. And Serena was inside. Well, look what we have here. Hey, Kim, help me out for a second. 